Hello Magic Years Heroes, my name is Teacher Amy and today I would like to talk to you about using props for standby classes. I just finished my classes for the day and I hopped on Facebook to find many teachers who are still intimidated by signing up for standby classes. Many teachers are nervous about the two prop minimum for classes. And many teachers have asked advice on props that are a must have for standby classes. And some have even asked for pictures of other teachers' classrooms. Well, today I would like to make a quick video about the props that I have used for standby classes. And I will also give you a quick tour of my classroom. Any veteran standby teacher would give you a short list of some must-have props for your classroom. First and foremost is a dry erase board. If you are unable to preview your standby class and you don't know what the keywords or phrases are for that particular lesson, a dry erase board is a lifesaver. Another must-have prop is a stuffed animal. This can be used for various things. You are able to point to it for the body parts, eyes, ears, mouth, nose, hands, legs, or even tail. This particular stuffed animal always gets a lot of love from the students and can also be used if the lesson is talking about colors. Which brings me to my next prop that's a must have. You can group some of your standby props into color categories if you're talking about colors. You can also use this flower wheel that you can get from the dollar store. Many teachers have used this color wheel to create some fun games in their classrooms. Toy fruit and food is also something that I use constantly for standby classes. Apples, bananas, hamburgers, juice, and even mangoes are some good props that can be used frequently. Happy or sad face emojis are also great to use during the welcome and greeting page. When a student is repeating a key word or phrase, a toy microphone is also an excellent choice. Toy dolls or cutouts of a girl and boy are also great standby prop ideas. For younger students, and especially in the alphabet classes, puppets are one of my personal favorite props. For a lot of the level one and two classes, we sing songs that have lyrics about clapping your hands or stomping your feet. My Minnie Mouse puppet is always a favorite in those classes because she is able to clap her hands and stomp her feet. Many lessons have slides where students are asked to answer yes or no. So these cutouts are also excellent to have on hand for props. In most of my regular classes, I constantly use my big question mark. You can use it in various ways throughout the entire lesson. To encourage younger students, I use my homemade praise wand. I will let you in on a funny secret. I made it using chopsticks and tape and bows from the Dollar Tree. The students' faces always light up when we praise and encourage them. So that's a good prop that you can continue to use in your everyday classes, especially for younger students. Remember, you can use not props. I have a hamper full of different kinds of stuffed animals for that reason. For instance, if the word that we are using is bear, you can hold up a bear and ask the students, bear? Bear? Yes! Yes! So for a not prop, you could hold up a pig and say, Bear? Bear? No! 
If you really want to invest in your classroom, you can also purchase a color printer. This one that I just purchased recently was not very expensive. I bought it on Amazon for around $40 and it has really been a game changer in crunch time situations and a lifesaver when I need to print off a quick 2D prop. And now for a super quick tour of my classroom. So here's the view of my classroom. I have everything in alphabetical order on the wall and those are clear shoe holders. And if you notice, I also have everything that's color coordinated here. And the props that I use often are on a shelf to the left of the computer. And then I also have some more things over here. And then here is the printer I was telling you about. Very handy. And then more props that are easily accessible over here. So there is my classroom. And it is just a closet that is in the downstairs basement area. Remember, because of the influx of new and amazing students, we need amazing standby heroes more than ever. I hope that this video has given you some prop ideas for helping you feel more comfortable with teaching standby classes. Have a great day and happy teaching!